think this podcast too late fam george greg back in the building just us today old school fam the dynamic duo <laughs> okay you having some problems man. um what's just some lights on your beat Appreciate everybody who likes, subscribes. Appreciate everybody on Apple, iTunes, all the followers, everybody who shares, likes, comments, does all that good old stuff. Um, we'll be doing two top tens today. Like Greg, we out here wearing a hat, real brand new Suns fan in the building. I love the Suns. <laughs> all right. Real brand new. I don't have an NBA team, but I love the Suns. I love the Lakers. I, I, I'm I okay with the Blazers. I just hated Terry Porter and Jerome Kersey. And Buck Williams, I couldn't stand them. I like Jerome Curse. I mean, uh, Clyde Drexler. You are a known hater. Don't... Okay, you just explained to me before we started how you are a hater. <laughs> yeah, but the listeners already know that, so. I already know it, too, so you ain't got to tell me nothing. <laughs> Either of you cop it. Dang. Uh, Rick must want Yeezy aliens. We're going to talk about this today. He better not be talking about them foam heads. Uh... What, the, what, the ones, the 380s? No, the ones that look like Crocs. Look like, oh, no, no, no. He better not be talking about those. If he is, I'm slapping everybody, I including mean, him. If those are like $65, I wouldn't run the house. Like, I ain't going nowhere. I'll check the mailbox and stuff. You could check the mailbox, tell them you go outside. You could check the ring doorbell. You could do all that stuff or you like you to could do. save $75 and do it barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't walk around stuff barefoot. I mean. I can't. Uh, I can't stand to see anybody else bottom of their feet dirty. You know, so I definitely don't want to see the bottom of my feet dirty. Yo, fam, what are you talking about? Huh? I don't go outside barefoot. Huh? Ever. Uh-huh. I used to, only because this one kid in the neighborhood tried to convince me that, that humans have feet, farmer's feet. Because this cat used to be, no joke, we used to play football, he'd be barefoot. Running down the block in Oregon, like 100 miles an hour barefoot. Man. One time we were running through these bushes, nonstop. <laughs> Yo, barefoot. fam, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't go outside barefoot, but I tried it one time, stepped on some crazy wild. NFL picks, stuff. Raiders, gonna win, playoffs. You are trash, though, because you know what? When we pick sleeper teams. I, 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 what? No, we did. Remember we did the Bears-Oakland week? And I was like, okay, this is the week. I'm picking the Raiders, and they actually won. No, no, no. Before the season. Oh, don't do that. Before the season started, we picked a sleeper team, and I picked the Raiders. You were like, oh, yeah, no. You you counted the Raiders out instantly yeah, before the season started. Yeah, why, no, I didn't. I said they were. I do no. I said they were likely to between uh, seven and nine or eight and eight. That's what I said. I didn't count them out. That's a that's a thing where like one or two games go the other way. You can make the playoffs. You counted them out because you said you don't care what happens with AB because he does good, good. But if he does nothing, you didn't expect. Oh yeah, the low all. expectations. Yeah, absolutely. You didn't have low expectations of him. You had low expectations of the team. Yeah, five hundred is in low expectations. That, that, that's pretty I good mean, for that team. No, no, no. Low expectations meaning if they go eight and eight, cool. If they go like six and ten, wouldn't be surprised. Or five and eleven. You can't do that. You can't play all fields. That is. That's <laughs> what low expectations fields. means. Yeah, but you play on all sides. You go six and eight. Okay, they go eight and eight. That's good. If they win no. our playoffs, that's tight. Like you can't do it all. No, no. I mean, you absolutely can be happy when your team does better than they're supposed to do. What are you talking about? Fine. That's fine. You play. On and all sides. I'll be in the building on the club level, fam. Yes. Who are you going to be with? We eating big. I have no idea what that means. Why y'all didn't go this week? Y'all was in the Bay Area this week. They weekend. picked the game. So, so you, they played Thursday night. Oh, that's right. So you flying back out again? Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Hold on a second. Let me, Wait, <laughs> let me, what? Let me send a text. Mm. Wait, what? Because it's supposed to be a secret for somebody. Do they watch this podcast? I don't know, man. They got the internet. I hope they don't watch this podcast. It's trash. Well, you <laughs> you got to take it out. <laughs> We'll have to restart. Bro, how many times you go to the Bay Area to surprise somebody? <laughs> Hold on, fam. <laughs> Live in the Bay Area for sticking for surprises. You go to the most expensive place, one of the most expensive expensive areas in the entire country, possibly the world, just to do surprise parties. And you're rich. Mm-hmm. Where'd y'all stay at this one? Where? This past weekend. Oh, I can't tell you. Why not? <laughs> because uh, your man's Alan paid for it. <laughs> so where was it? We didn't even pay. I feel bad too because it was. He showed me his spa bill alone. Where was it? We gotta say that like the Can't tell you know. Waldorf Astoria. Or something? <laughs> I said well, what I know. It was no. It wasn't. We weren't. We were in Napa. We weren't in uh, San Francisco. So what y'all stay like a bed and breakfast or something? I don't know what's in Napa. It was like I've been there, but uh, I was yeah, young. It was, it was like uh, one of them. So like a resort. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. It was like bungalows, fam. Let's just put it that way. So you stay in like a compound. You must stay at Gautanamo. (laughs) (laughs) 
Dang, it must be nice. That was his birthday, and he paid for <laughs> You should feel bad. You should we, go home and sell all your Yeezys. <laughs> I gave him Ultra Boost for his birthday, and we paid for a dinner that was a <laughs> highly expensive dinner. What well, Ultra Boost you gave? Now, I don't know what the room costs. Like I said, I feel bad, but he make about... he he's. I told you a long time ago, he's on an NFL contract. <laughs> And that's no joke. So he's one of the founding fathers of Sneaker Valet. <laughs> so he should be rich. <laughs> he took all the money. <laughs> he created Sneaker Valet. Without him, it would have never existed. <laughs> all right. He created Sneaker Valet in like in less than like three days. You told him about it, and it was like already a, a prototype. I told him. I told him, but like he's mad that like he didn't keep doing stuff right now with all the bots and stuff. People making this all this money. He can still get in there. He don't got enough time now. Oh. Well. All right, we good because they're telling him tonight. So, telling him, telling who? Raider game needs a nephew. Oh, well, yeah. They might watch. They maybe. Well, maybe Sam does. Yeah, don't, Nick don't care. I don't think he cares. Um, uh, but she would be like, Nick, guess what? But they go to Raider games all the time, don't they? They've been to Raider games here. They haven't oh, been okay. to Oakland Stadium. Oh, and really? I ain't been to Oakland Stadium. You've never been to Oakland Stadium? Let me only, tell you when, only when the Raiders were in LA. Uh, nah, right. Trust me. I've been to Raider games only in Los Angeles. But we drove past the stadium this last weekend and I took a picture of it. So I consider that been to the stadium. You throw that picture in the trash. We <laughs> stayed at a hotel, awesome. Courtyard Marriott, that was like literally down the street from the stadium. We went to Taco Bell. We landed at like 11, got the car, didn't eat any dinner. Went to Taco Bell. Bro, the entire complex was out of business like businesses out of business there was a mcdonald's and a and a taco bell everything tagged up Wait, this where were y'all in alameda y'all drove? right by oakland airport oh okay 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 i'm we, like what it's like about a, the stadium we had a like... hotel. yeah we did we had a hotel for the first night because we landed at like yeah. 11 then the next day the surprise was the next day for the birthday but that's on the other side of the freeway Huh? That's where you're talking about is on the other side of the freeway from the stadiums. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you still can see it. I mean, you can see it, but I thought you meant like on on the stadium. So I'm like, it ain't. No, that's some. No. No, we stayed. Our hotel was literally like a mile from the rental car center, which is close to the airport. Anyways, went to the Taco Bell. Bruh. I mean, it was like a scene out of like a horror movie. It's scary it was like, over there, though. It was like. Don't go to Taco Bell at midnight in Oakland, in Alameda, all right? This man walked up. He had, like, the outfit on of, like, them cast that work at the airport. It was, like, an entire, like, green <laughs> highlighter, like, the reflective collar, outfit. Bro. And he had this thing. It was, like, a five-gallon bucket in his hand, and it looked like it was full of gasoline. We were waiting for the food at the window. Only Taco Bell I ever seen would, like, they would slide the window open. There's still bars there. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could, like, they could give you your food. That's it. It ain't no joke with it. Oakland is the one point. I've had a gun put on me at least three times in Oakland alone. Though. Oakland ain't no joke. Huh? I love Oakland. I'm aware of what Oakland. Love Oakland. Okay, we drove past Richmond on the freeway, too. I told Love Hannah, Richmond, too. I said, this used to be the number one murder capital of the United States of America. She was like, what, El Cerrito? <laughs> I said, no. Anyways. I love Oakland. What to talk about? This man was carrying this thing. I thought it was like gasoline. I thought he was going to douse the car. Oh, my God. You were he, scared. <laughs> You call I'm, police. I'm like never Karen. scared, but I'm definitely. <laughs> all right, she's about to be mad at you now. Karen, I don't out. get scared, but I definitely be on my p's and q's. Well, of course, out there. I, I know there's no back. joke when but, I tell you like this dude had like the outfit on at them dudes with the at the airport with them things. He probably just got off at the airport, bruh. He came to the car asking for money, carrying this thing that looked like gasoline. He had to be oh, homeless. I know he came. To the car. I thought he came inside Taco Bell just to get something to eat. No, we didn't go inside Taco Bell. Oh. We were in a drive through It was like I was looking at the rear view mirror. This car that was behind me, you could tell was like, I'm not going to say they were like filing, gangsters man. or whatever, but they was definitely <laughs> like. Yeah, the cars are hydraulics. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely some hood stuff. Let's put it that way. Oh. I was on the lookout. I would keep my, I just would have, I would have, hey, I would have stopped. The hotel had a gate. Like, you can only pull in the hotel parking lot if you get a ticket. Like, uh, press the button. Riff raff, man. Ooh, gate go up. Ooh, you go in. Gate go up. Or open or whatever. Oh, I'm like, yo, I don't know where you was at. Man. Courtyard was Marriott a by the stadium. It was a zombie. It was pretty nice, though. I bet the it was in, all right. The inside was yeah. totally fine. Courtyard Marriott's are pretty nice. I like Courtyard Marriott's. Bruh, it's the weirdest location for a Courtyard Marriott ever, though. 
I don't know if you could have a weird location if you're just one of the airport hotels. So. There's, everything's weird around that type of area. It's always weird. And there'll be like houses like right there at the window. You look at the window's house. Like that's how there them areas no be. houses in that area, trust me. Yeah, but it's all industrial then. Yeah, I don't like that. Anyways. Was a Taco Bell and a McDonald's and whatever was in the parking lot, I don't know if it used to be a Kmart or whatever, was completely closed down, no lights on anywhere. I hate seeing and stuff it was like tagged that. Up. I hate seeing stuff like that over there. You should have been looking to find a realtor to find him what that property was. Yeah, right. I'm looking for a police officer to get me out safe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at you. Um, what are we doing first? Want to do top 10 DBs first? Let's do top 10 DBs first. What are you talking about? I thought we got to do pickups and releases and whatever else. We no? do If we do two top 10 lists, we do that top right, 10 man. first. Whatever. Then we do pickups. Whatever, fam. Since the pictures of the new DB, Doran Becker 2019 line came out, we're doing... Part two, again, top 10. Pre-order your alien now. Really? I'm about to do it. What's that on? No, you're not. Oh, that's, pr- that's probably the picture that uh, Ric Flair sent. Because uh, it looks like the same font. Oh, my God. $251 a pre-order. That's retail, ain't it? What's retail? No, like? no, no. Then you got to pay for the shoe on top of that. Oh, no. Do people really? Well, I guess it is the first shoe, so they probably are thinking that they're gonna fly. So, well, we can talk about that. Top ten Doran Becker sneakers to us, George. Do you want to have any honorable mentions? Uh, no honorable mentions because Doran Becker suck. Shout out to the hospital, though. Let me tell you something. Every year the Doran Becker line comes out, I think I might hate it because it makes you revisit the other ones. Doran Beckers do not age well. Doran Beckers... They don't release well or age well. What are you talking about? Them joints... <laughs> they don't do anything yeah, well. Yeah, but like usually like out of like a pack of like six, nope. one might be okay. Nope. They're not... Ugh, they're too... We can talk about that one. Shout out to the hospital. Doran Becker shoes suck. Of course. Suck. Okay. I'm going to do mine list. You want to do my top ten or my bottom five first? Whatever you would... You, whichever which way you want to do I'm going to do my bottom five. You know, one thing about Doran Beckers too, they don't got nicknames. So yeah. I'm just going to have to call these joints what they look like. Well, I put the year on it because there's like I definitely know that. various versions of certain things that came out. So I put what year it was. Number 10, Nike Dunk SB, that golden green one I don't with think that rooster say on it. Nike, fam. I think we know it's Nike. I like to say Nike. This is a sneaker <laughs> podcast. All right. With that chicken on the side. What them joints called? The cock a doodle doos? Them cock a doodle doos? It's about the low top? Yeah. You said dunk low? Yeah. With the like writing on it? No, with the little, it's green, like gold, green, got the little oh, thing on the back. Oh, yeah, those the rooster. Uh, they don't. Well, uh, yeah, they do. The other dunk is better. It's not an SB, but it's a dunk low. With the laser? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was better. But I didn't remember that coming out. Uh, I mean, I didn't remember it coming out either, but I still put it on my list. Number what nine. else to put on there? Number nine, I got Air Max Zeros, the one with all them hearts on it. Bro, I got more transactions in my email talking about I sent $2 to Mary. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> oh, that's from Zell. <laughs> <laughs> um, Air Max Zero, the one with all the hearts on it. I don't know what it's called. That's cool. I mean, it's a girl shoe. Did you say Nike SB with the heart? No. Oh. Air Max Zero with all the hearts oh, on yeah, it. That not, one. That's not on my list. That's cool. Uh, number eight, I got the Batman Janoskis. Them is fire. All right. They're all black, and the Batman shows up when it 3M. That's fire. That one. That was actually still pretty dope yeah, because it's pretty basic. I don't know anything about that. Number seven, I got the Jordan 6. All right. DB Jordan 6 is whack. I used to think it, Jordan DB Jordan 6 used to be considered one of the dopest Jordan You just 6. said it's whack, but you put it on your list. Bro, I'm rating Doran Becker versus Doran Becker. <laughs> well, you can't say it's whack. You could say it's overrated, I guess. It's whack, man. All right. Nah, fine. It's overrated. Top five on your list. It's number seven. Whack. So it's not top five. Number six, I got the Air Max 95, the Brave. They look like, you know, the, the white, gold. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. That, that should stuff, be higher. That, that's my bottom five. What you got? That should be higher, fam. Because there ain't nothing else you can put on there. Oh, there's plenty. No, it's not. We made a list out of, like, 30 total shoes overall. Fam, what's your bottom five? Bottom five. Vapor Max from 2017. Number that's, 10. That's a good one. Number nine. Air Max 90 Ultra 2.0 Oregon Ducks 2017. Wait, which one? It looks like a oh um, yeah, 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 it looks yeah, like yeah, a hyperfuse. Yeah, yeah. It's about. white and with black print on it and then gold yellow not gold uh yellow it's whack but it's plain it's whack but it's don't, we stretching here <laughs> we should have made a top five i really don't like trashing these like i used to oh they suck shout out to this hospital <laughs> you can't keep saying patients. that they don't make it better 
It does. <laughs> it eliminates a sin, B. Number eight, <laughs> Dunk Low 2013 with the laser stuff on it. Right. I would actually wear that shoe. If I'm being completely honest, I would wear it. Well, I wouldn't wear the other one. I don't like that green and gold nonsense. What's wrong with the green and gold? Green's your favorite color. Huh? Green's your favorite color. My favorite color is blue because I'm a crip. No? I don't know what you I, don't know what I thought you about. told me green was your favorite color. Green and white was my high school colors, but blue is my favorite color. Man, to De La Salle. All right. What's number seven? De La Salle, I think, is green and gold. They should wear those in the game. They used to mop us up and everything. Uh, number seven, Air Max 95 2007, which is the one people thought was like Puerto Rico or really whatever. America? Blue one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's way too low. Nah. Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. No, number six, Air Max 270 camo from 2018. You hated that. Bruh, we're making a list of Dookie and trying to make it like better Dookie. What do you expect? That was very mean. Somebody put a lot of work into that. I would wear the camo shoe over that. Puerto Rico <laughs> shoe or Captain America, whatever you want to call it, if I'm being honest. Number five. Now, maybe if anyone was low, the dunk 2013 was low, even no. though I don't like laser shoes. Number five. <laughs> what do you like in a shoe? <laughs> you don't like nothing that's in here. You don't like patent leather. You don't like laser. You don't like fat tongues. You don't like high top. You don't like mids. You don't like nothing. <laughs> the first three things you say, you absolutely right, and I don't wear any of those. <laughs> those are key components in the sneaker community. No, they're not key components in nerd community. Huh? <laughs> Number five, Air Max 95, Captain America. Number four, Air Force Ones, the orange and red ones, which I always forget those are Doran Beckers with the, like, goldish swoosh. Them joints are fire. Number three, Jordan 3 Reds. Number two, the brand new Air Force One with the flowers, the one that Man, comes out this year. Stop. You're joking, right? That yeah, might be the serious. best Air Force. That might be the best. Uh, you know, you always say of all time. You know, you, no, it's not. You know, what you always say what? it hasn't even come out yet. Doesn't matter. That's what you number, say every time we do a list. Number one, I got Jordan Four Superman. That's still probably the best drum of all time to me because it shouldn't work with what it looks like, but it works. It's a great looking shoe. Love it. That Air Force One flowers that comes out this year. Is is already number two, a top three Doran no. Becker. No, it's not. Yes, no, it's it is. Not. Well, okay, wait till your number one and number two is obvious. <laughs> okay, I got I got what you're saying. Number two, I got one and one at three. Hold on a second. I said number three, join three. Number had, two, Air Force One Flowers. I had to send that text to your boy. And you and you just stand for swooshes that are different. They're altered, and that joint is yeah, but it's an Air Force One, so. I'm getting tired of you talking bad about Air Force Ones. So you need to get over that, man. You says the man who owns zero Air Force One. It doesn't matter, but I will be owning quite a few soon. I mean, well, I don't know why. You should, the only one you should own is the one where it's the interchangeable swoosh. That's it because it looks who normal. Said, who said I had copped already? Maybe you did, but then you should say it on pickups. Go through. You this. might want to turn the, mic, the mics down just a little bit. Boing. Uh, five Jordan Six. Um, two thousand. I mean, whatever. Two thousand nine or when did it retro? Retro Last this year, year two thousand nineteen. The blue one. Uh, number four. Did you put this on your list? Because I blinked out for a second there. Number four, Kyrie two. No. Oh, you tripping? Out. I don't like that one. That's easily top five Dornbeckers. Yes, it is. No. If you talking about what are the best Dornbeckers shoes? Yes, Kyrie two is no. absolutely on the list. Yes, it is. No. Um, uh, number three, Air Max ninety five, <clears throat> two thousand eleven. The white one. The one you got when you didn't get the four. Oh, the brave one. So well, I don't know what it's called. It's white and gold. Called. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Number two, Jordan three. Obviously, I don't know how you didn't have that number two. Have a number three. Yeah, that's, like I put it far away. I mean, it's, it's not like there's a ton of shoes to pick from. If you don't it's have by far number two, you not having the the new Air Force One with the flowers on it is I don't bananas. Know. I don't know. It's not. It's not worthy of anything. No, no. Can you swap it out for like Air Max 2017 or like number ten or the Oregon Ducks Air Max 90? Sure, that's fine. But you putting in number two is absolutely insane, especially considering you always say it's not even out yet, and it's not even out yet. Doesn't even matter. That's how good it (laughs) It does matter. Now, if it was on the dunk, cool, cool. Oh my gosh, Air Force Ones trash. No, they're thickest not. soul since no, uh, they're not. Herman Munster. Dude. No, they're not. And I seen Herman Munster at the airport, and he had or at the winery, and he had a shirt on that said NFL alumni. Bro, the soul on his shoe was that high. It That's was, because one leg was broke. No, both feet, both legs. He had those on. It was like uh, what's his name? Um, Herm, uh, what do we used to call that man? Which one? Frankenstein. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Frankenstein shoes on and made him even taller. He already was like six eight. Uh, <laughs> Number one, Jordan four, uh, Superman, obviously, obviously. And hey, you need to stop disrespecting Air Force Ones because Air Force Ones are, are clearly back. No, yeah, they are, and you need to admit it. Number one. I dislike the shoe in general. What about something being back should make me like it all of a sudden? Okay. Like, SBs are back, and I actually liked SBs at one point. I never liked Air Force okay. Ones, and I'm still not wearing SBs. No, no, no. Fine. You can't say that Air Force Ones are... Okay, you know what? Never mind. You can. You can do whatever you want. But Air Force Ones, for those who used to like Air Force Ones and then kind of faded away from them... Is that a mic drop? My mic sounds like it's lowered there. Air Force Ones No, your are mic back. is way too high. I think your headphone volume is too high. That's not even the thing. Yeah, there is. It's the blue buttons. Then turn it down, man. Oh, look, man, I don't want to mess with no knobs. <laughs> I sound absolutely perfect in mine. Like, I sound perfect. Look. So you just made that up. And I have no idea why you're wearing headphones today. What's up with you? You never wear headphones. To make sure my mic is working. Oh, it's good. I'll let you know if it's broke. Look. <laughs> That was an easy decision. Air Force Ones are back, period. I, I don't even, what does that even mean? If you liked Air Force Ones at one point and you kind of faded away from them and you went, it's perfectly fine to go back down. You know why Air Force Ones are back? Because it all, ma you know what? Okay, let's put it this way. You know why DB6s suck? Is because no other Jordan 6 colorways during any period of time has solidified, like, kept Jordan 6 as, like, an upper echelon of, like, Jordan colorways. Period. There's a lot of people that would disagree with you just no. based off no, colors not. that have come up. No. Jordan 6 is you, Jordan Jordan 6. Yes, there's still, a million people who would disagree with you. Still to this day, the only colors of Jordan 6 that matter, black and for red, white for it. That's it. No one cares about any other Jordan 6s, huh? Olympic, maroon. I feel get out of here with that midnight Olympic. navy. Fine. If you want to go, fine. If you want to say Carmine, cool. That's it. Midnight navies? What are you man? Get those out of here, man. What are you talking about? I'm gonna care about those. I'm a Jordan 6 god, all right. Obviously not anymore since no, you no, don't no, respect them. No. no, 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 no. Your colorways that okay, Travis Scotts. Tra that 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 might be the greatest six of all time. All right, <laughs> that's a fact. Oh, so you're, so you're retracting your statement? No, there. no, no. This is what I'm trying to say. I just gave you six models okay. that people care about. At least six. Let me let me look. and no and people probably care more about those other ones than they do infrared whites. Let's be honest here. Maybe. Yeah, but not Olympics. Yes. Yes. Olympics are one of the worst ones ever. Uh, I let you convince me to buy Olympics because you were like, fam, them in the Olympics. And I always hated those. I copped them, wore their dinner one time when you had them, never won them again. I don't even know where they at. I don't even have them anymore. What Look, does that got to do with me, huh? Bad colorways, bad colorways can ruin OG models and stuff. It, it ruin a model, period. Have you seen the trash fours that have come out? They're not ruined. Uh, They're not ruined. Uh, I don't even know if I qualify Jordan in this conversation. Maybe I shouldn't talk about Jordan's conversation. Air, air more type of Pippins. The Pippin, black and white, air on the side. Yeah, but all no one that, cares about that like shoe, really. Stop it. Everyone cares about that shoe. Ooh. But they've come out with so many nonsense colorways. If the systems, Supremes didn't come out, no one would cop. Uh, look, I'm telling you. A brand that people care about came ones, out, and that's why people care. Air Force Ones this year. Might have, I'm you, not disputing that. Cool. What just, are you talking about? Just because when Air Force Ones come out right now, the colorways and stuff are so good now on a lot of releases, it makes you go back and consider buying other older. I wouldn't older, say the colorways are so good. They came out good. with functional items. Like they came out with an item where you could literally change the swoosh and make it three different shoes that you pay for one shoe. That's dope. It's dope. Snake skins are fire. Travis Scott's fires, Snake Off White's fires. What? I don't know what Snake. No, uh, no, no. The Chanel, only ones, Chanel. the only ones that Travis Scott's are not fire. The only ones you can say are they're not fire, fire but they're the, dope. The only ones you can say are fire, and it pains me to say this because I think a lot of most of the stuff he comes up with is nonsense. The three Off Whites, the off three Off Whites are fire. Outside of that, no interchangeable. The only, ones? Yeah, yeah, they're dope, but they're not fire. They're There's fire. a difference. The the first Travis Scott Air Force ones, no, no, fire. I don't like that. I don't like those. Interchangeable swoosh still. It's just white yeah, interchangeable swoosh. I understand that. But it's not interchangeable swoosh with like maroon. Um, what is it? Maroon, green, and navy or whatever. Those are like three really good colors to oh, put man. with like a what what color are they? Like a like it's a, like a, a chrome beige shoe or a chrome swoosh, a beige one, and like something else for the Travis yeah, Scott. That's swoosh. trash. All right, man. Come on, man. Either way, 
If you come out with great colorways in your model shoe, it will make you appreciate the OG models a lot more. For me right now with Air Force One, people don't I'm, even remember I'm, what OG Air Force One models are. I mean, it's just, just a white shoe with blue swoosh. Makes you go back and or look white shoe with gray. Yeah, swoosh. but it makes you go back and respect them when we won't respect them no more. That's a one hundred percent fact. No, 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 stop. Okay, you're confusing your words here. Respect. I respect Air Force. Okay, you farting over there? No, I respect Air Force Ones. Number one, cool. makes you want to go back. One of the pop. first basketball shoes ever in the Nike line. Not ever in basketball, but ever in the Nike line. Number two, it was popularized by hip hop culture or whatever culture you want to talk about. Nelly. No, I'm joking. <laughs> just joking. Nelly made me hate him. If we being uh, completely joking. honest, he made me hate them. Uh, Bobby, they they don't even call them Air Force Ones in New York City. They literally call them. A, uh, they nick them, nicknamed their own name from the city. No, how many other shoes have that where they were nicknamed from a city? So Air Force One is absolutely respected. Right. That doesn't mean it's gonna be. It needs to be liked, cared for, or worn, or whatever. It's two completely different things. All these new Air Force One colorways and stuff makes you want to go back and look for other Air Force Ones to cop. Nah. Yes, it does. Nah. Yes, it does. It's one hundred percent fact. The black and the black one with just the white swoosh that came out probably like a couple weeks ago. It's fire. It's just black with a white swoosh. It has Man, a gun down. bottom as well. Chill out. You've been talking about that one for weeks. It's it's a me. It's, I'm not gonna say it's mediocre, but it's regular. It's black and white. Colorways matter a it's lot. It's one more. swoosh away from being a, a stick up kid. <laughs> no, show. it's like, not. Like what nah. you talking about? It's different. It's one swoosh away from being a stick up kid's shoe. Either way, whether you want to wear the shoe or not, you need to stop being disrespectful to Air Force One. I'm the one who sent you the link for that interchangeable swoosh shoe, man. So you understand now. You understand. No, no, I understand for people who want to buy. I don't understand for myself because I never cared about them. Now that's cool, but you can't say they're whack. You can say mm. I ain't wearing them. They're not whack. Mm. Man. You're gonna. I it's guarantee. Tomato, tomato. No, no, I guarantee. I like guarantee. I said they're respected. Nah, no, I That's guarantee. It. I guarantee. 2020, you're gonna find an Air Force One. You're gonna strongly consider copying. No, guarantee. No. I'm you, gonna end this year with at least three, four pairs. The only thing that I would do is if SB Dunks are again made without the padded tongue. What then I might cop. Ain't nobody copping no SB Dunks without the padded tongue. The padded tongue is part of the SB Dunks. Go home. No, it's not. Go plenty of home. plenty of them came out during the era where they didn't have padded tongue that are fire. fire. Go home. Costins. Go home. Cut the tongue open. Take the foam out and just glue it back. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, but then you have that puts me in a burden to do it to uh, get it to look the way I want to look. A burden, man. If you don't stop, cut the back of the tongue, pull the foam out, put some flex seal on it, and you good. <laughs> yes, flex. That's what seal. I would do. Go to Home Depot, fam, or you can take it to a cobbler. Have them sew it. All right. Cobbler is a crazy name for profession. Just pay someone to sew my SB back together. Thanks. Man. That's why I said you flex seal. You ain't got to do all now that. I went from a ninety dollars shoe to a hundred and dollars ninety dollars <laughs> shoe. <laughs> pay a cobbler. You gonna know, look at it and be like, this is a seven minute job and still charge me a hundred dollars. You cop anything this week, but don't be disrespectful to Air Force Ones anymore. Man, and be respectful. No, be respectful of colorways of all sneakers because it matters to the OGs. <laughs> Good colorways matter. Bad colorways matter. You come up with too many bad colorways in a model, you don't care about the model. You start being like, man, that's, forget these. These suck now. You come up with great colorways in a model, you start being like, yo, Bam. let's get back to these joints. Bam. Shout out to J-Tips, too. Bam. Pick up. If we grew up in New York, it'd be a different story. We didn't grow up in New York. But we're sneakerheads. Like, forget no, no, no. regions now. No, no, no. What do you mean? Talking forget to Bruce. Regions. Talking to Bruce. When I said to Bruce, I said, man. I don't understand why. I understand why the New York, what the... Was it Air Force One? I said, I didn't understand why the California Los Angeles wasn't Air Force One. He was like, because ain't nobody copping. Shout out to Brewster, too. He said, because ain't nobody copping a Cortez or a Blazer. I said, a Blazer and a Cortez, what the? Oh, they would cop. It don't matter what it is. It's a what the represents Los Angeles. They would cop. Well, they would cop. That's look, man, look, let me say this. So if they're coming out with an Air Force One to represent the LA, what the? Anything, Air Force Ones. Are back. Whether you like them or not, Air Force Ones are in full force back. I never seen so many collaborations of Air Force Ones in one year since 2009. All right. I mean, sure, fine. You could uh, again I'm back from like they're not. They were never dead. I don't know what fine, you mean. They back weren't from. dead. Now SBs, you're right. you're right. Dead and came back. That's different. Okay, then they Air were, Force Ones were dead and came back. No, no, no. SBs were, bruh, stuff was selling for under retail, and now you're talking about GRs are in certain sizes. Four, three, four, five hundred dollars that no one cared about when they came out. I looked at some Air Force One prices today. I was like, fam, who paying six hundred for this? So. No, not nah, fam. No. Pickups, you got pickups this week. Yes. What you got? Uh, but you should have brought since we did cultivator. I mean, yours. You said yours coming yesterday. 
Uh, they're at the store. Yep. Um, since we didn't do a show last week and I didn't say it, uh, cop those manner times. <laughs> I just gotta say manner. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Dios, oh, de los Muertos. <laughs> no, they're not. They're El Salvadorians. What are they called, man? El Salvadorians. No, you said it was a collab, like, uh, not a collab, but like he was honoring his mom or something. You say you El knew Salvadorian. what the name of the shoe It's just El Salvador flag. That's all it is. The oh. colors of El Salvador or something. That's the shoe. Yeah. It's just colors of El Salvador flag and like El the sunset. Salvador's flag is pink, fam. Bro, I, I mean, I can look about, it up. It's but. something about El Salvador and his family, whatever. Anyways. God bless. Mar- Mar- the cultivator? Marky, Marky Mark cultivator shoe is fire. Unadulterated fire. I told you that. Okay, you didn't tell me that. When I was at Manor, I told you. I said, Johnson Hannah said, Johnson nice. The back with the Nike, with the swoosh. What is it, like gold or something? Man, I have no idea. You didn't tell me anything, fam. Uh-huh. My box says, cultivated by George Martin. <laughs> or by George, whatever. That's dope. Shout out to him for that design, because that shoe is unadulterated fire. So that color blocking, not design. Yeah, whatever. Same difference, fam. No, nah, because if I don't give Just Don his credit, I can't give Marky Mark his credit, but... Who's just Don? You mean like actual just Don? Yes. Or are you calling somebody just because Don? I, I can't give I don't call I can't say just Don's a designer. Just Don's a great color schemer. He's not even that. I oh, mean, he's a pretty good color schemer. Since Bam. what? Since what? I mean the Jordan twos that he made. Yeah, the pretty three all schemes. plain, all same one color shoes. We could do that. <laughs> I mean, he's had some other things, hasn't he? I don't think so. Oh no, I have no idea. Just Don Jordan that came out unadulterated trash. Oh yeah, the those, strap. Yes. Oh no, unadulterated trash in the high. The lows are fire, and the lows no, no, are fire. No, no. The lows are fire Stop for forty-seven dollars. Fire. Fine. The lows are dope for forty-seven dollars. Whatever. It's irrelevant. If you're not paying retail, Marky Mark shoe is one hundred percent fire. The green with the pink, like desert pink or whatever, pops. You would. I would have never thought that that would have popped like that. AKA's sorority, they've always wore green and pink. But I don't know what that means. So that must be something from Howard University in Atlanta. Though. <laughs> <laughs> As every university. <laughs> what else you got? Shout and, out to Mark. And Wave Runners. Wave Runners? Which one? Oh, OGs? Yes. I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom in the entire galaxy got the thing from. I didn't Adidas know you bought them, though. I sent a screenshot. What are you talking about? Just like you didn't look at that picture of the hats that I sent, I probably didn't look at that screenshot you sent. You bought your size? Nah. Oh, man, you suck. I thought you you own them now. What? No. Why would I? Oh, my gosh, man. Because you want those. I've had three pairs of them. No, I know. Yes. I want them for $200, no, not no, no. three thir- twenty five. dollars You had the first pair. You didn't want them then. You had the second pair. Yeah, because I sold them for them almost $700. Now, every pair you've had, every, every time you give it them, you say you should have had them. You want them. Okay. Yes, not for- So I thought this time you bought them. 200 I want them for 200 What you going to do with these now? Because I don't think they sell for that high, do they? Uh, Prices go back up. It's an easy wave runner. I mean, I ain't worried about it. Who knows, man? I sold clouds the other day. Retail. That's, okay, that's all I can get for them. I was glad to get that back. What clouds? Cloud V2, non reflectives. Yeah, what size was it? Where'd Ten? it come from? Adidas a long time ago. Oh, no wonder. Never even opened the box. I have no idea what it looks like. Uh, that's all you got. You suck. Uh, cultivator joint. Shout out to Mark. Yeah, um, those only ones I cop. Um, I grabbed Cortez some React Prestos and FIBA Jordan Fours. 55 bucks. React Presto fam. Got him some Jordan 4s too. I can't wait for those to come in. That's my little guy. Oh my gosh, we got such a dope week coming up, fam. I'm so excited for him. Um, Oh, and I increased my thing to the top level on Adidas. Icon, fam. Me. Wait, you talking about the members thing or something? How many points you got? Over 12,000. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You have over 12,000 points on your Adidas app. Yes, I'm an icon, fam. I just got done telling you. I'm about to open my app. I better have at least 10,000. <laughs> See, I don't log in when I cop a lot of stuff, though. Guess that's it. Huh? So I might have about 300. Oh, I got 7,000. Man, that's whack. I got 7,335. I can't have you out here with 12,000 on me. Got Actually, I'm about to cop some nonsense tonight. Got you, B. <laughs> I'm about to cop some AM, <laughs> some speed, some Marvel, Marvel speed. Yes. Um, I told you I copped uh, Washington Redskins joints or wa- Huskies, and what uh, the, the speed ones or the Boost? No, when the Ultra Boost came out, I copped oh, those. I and I copped. You still got them, or uh, you sold them? Man, 
I thought maybe he was waiting for the market to go back. All right. Going for the Huskies to win the national championship. Yep. That's what we should be keeping college shoes to win the national championship. Huskies to win the national championship in probably about 45 years. So you should have kept them. Hmm. Interesting theory. They were supposed to be the best team in the Pac 12, too. They suck. Uh, no. I had Utah win Oregon the Pac-12. Was top, Oregon was top 10 beginning of the year, something like that. They were top 10 beginning of the year. They lost the very first game to what? Clemson? Oregon? I mean, uh, Auburn? Auburn. Which is crazy that Oregon is kind of back in the talks a little bit. Um, Yo, what is going on with this phone, B? Oh, I got Cloud Continental 80s. 28 bucks? I sent that joint to you guys. I don't know why y'all didn't cop. What? Man, come on. 28 bucks for Cloud and free shipping? I said that to everybody. Nope. Everybody said, yo, thanks, fam. I don't know if they caught. You sent me the link to those watch callers that I already own. Which ones? Uh, <laughs> NMD. Paste. Uh, NMD. Oh, I was sending that to Simple. Off whites. I was sending that to Simple because that had 30% off. And my price was still way lower than that, even with the 30% off. I got them for $87. Oh, I thought you had got them for retail. So. Man, what? <laughs> no, man. I'll turn this tired. table over on top of you. <laughs> what comes out this week? <sighs> Let's see here. Oh, uh, Women's Air Force One high. Nope. Force is female, whatever that means. I mean, you're the Air Force One guy now, so I figured you want to know about it. Air Force Ones are back, man. I can't wait to start I just told you again. two were coming out, and you said, nope. You said women highs, all right? Shouldn't, shouldn't no shoe be high on a woman, all right? Unless you Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, or Tina Thompson. Shout out to Tina Thompson, who's hired jersey at USC. You sound like a hater. Uh, Off-white women's Vapor Street. That new uh, off-white model, the one that looks like oh, track yeah. spikes, three different colors. You do raffles for that or no? <laughs> Why they're not gonna sell? I think undefeated, it's coming. Do it first come first serve. Uh oh, what? Oh, shoot, we got these raffles, B. <laughs> what else you got? Yep. Um, adapt Hirachi Hyper Jade. Oh. Hmm. Um, Jordan One Low Fearless that doesn't look like a Jordan One Low for some reason. That like El Gato Ghetto Gastro. That joint sucks. Yes, it does. Um, Jordan Thirty Four Snow Leopard, whatever that is. Oh, that one's whack too. <laughs> um, another Kawhi called Kawhi Baited Omni One Baited or whatever the whatever his shoe is called, Masturbated. Uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, undercover times Chuck Taylor coming out. Um, LeBron red carpet seventeen. Oh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> Air Max ninety camo camo wob energy. Oh, that you don't like those? Is that the one that's pink? Yeah, like pinkish and tan. I just stuff. copped a desert pink shoe. Shout out Marky Mark. Yeah, but you don't like them though. I don't like what? I'm asking, do you like them, though? Those 90s? No. Uh, Air Max, why would I need those? Air Max 1's fire. I said, do you need them? I said, do you like them? Fire. Woodwood Ultra Boost 19. Suck. I have no idea why people, they're doing raffles for these. They're already under retail on GOAT. Pusha T, Oswego's. Both colorways are underwhelming. Uh, the shoe is trash. No, it's not trash. The shoe... Okay, fine. It's not trash, but there's way too many colorways on it, and you can't... You can't keep putting these colors on a shoe and then be like, this is the King Push shoe. It needs to be identifiable, identified. If I look at it, wow, it got something on it that identifies the King Push. Like, it got to be wrapped up like cocaine. It got to be something. Everything with cocaine and with King Push on you, you know? It has to be cocaine with Push. Can't be nothing else. You sound like Them joints are whack. Transformers July 5. Man, fam. I'm going to say this one last time. Every single Transformer collaboration of a sneaker of all time <laughs> is trash. Why on <laughs> earth is Asics wasting their time making a Transformer? <laughs> what is happening with Asics? And I love Asics. They'll be I back next no year. Idea. Um, the shoe that you're supposedly copying, I have no idea if you are or not, Instapunk Fury Boost Prototype. I'm copying when it goes lower, but I need it, though. I Fam, don't know what that means. Uh, Reebok Fury with Boost on it? <laughs> Melt. Melt in your mouth, not in your hand. <laughs> It's not so much comfort, I don't even be able to contain myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, Melody Hassani. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm probably butchering it. Melody Hassani, uh, mm-hmm. Jordan 1, Fearless, mid. Mm-mm. Does it have a watch on the thing? Okay. People are going crazy for that shoe, apparently. $475. They're pretty high. I know the release on her website already came out, but I know Nike's is whatever. Um, ZX8000, I guess this is like one of the OG Adidas shoes because I've seen like Sock Jig and some those. other people talking about it. 
So apparently people care about those. Travis Scott, Air Force One. Cactus Yak. Copping. The plug is coming through, too. Cactus Jack Cheese. Yes. Undefeated. Right. The plug said, me in the back. All right. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. All right. I right. bet. I'm going to pick you up, but you don't want to come too. All okay. right. I'm going to say you're dropping the whip. Oh, you're going to be in Oakland. Too bad, man. I mean, that doesn't mean you can't take Oscar and get me a pair. Oh, look, man. The plugs at me in the back. Say, bring a sandwich and $250 each. All right. All right. Joyride 2s are already coming out, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Joyride 1 just came out. Joyride 1 is a failure. Uh, Yeezy Alien 380 Boost. Mm, that's the drop of the week. I think that's it. Are you interested? Uh, Disney Kith stuff comes out before we do another show. That Disney Kith stuff is absolute fire. Now, I think we're all too old to be walking around with that much Mickey Mouse on our bodies and stuff, but the <laughs> stuff the stuff looks really good. It's really good looking stuff. Yeah, that's it. Are you interested in Alien Yeezys 380s? Uh, not for myself, I don't think, but I've definitely tried to resell them. People, people complain all, you said people complain all the time about me being a reseller hype beast, so why not continue it? Well, no, I mean, like, you don't plan on keeping a model pair? I mean, you, you still have every single Yeezy, period. Like, you still have all your Yeezys. So, like, I figure, like, no, I you would. I mean, I have, No, I like, mean, like, you have each model that's come out in Adidas one. Uh, in the V models, you have V ones, you got V twos. That's it. That's just two models. <laughs> I know. So I, isn't this like the next version, like the V three? Is that what this is? It's a different number. Three eighty. Oh, so this isn't three fifty V three eighty three. Oh man, that's not what this says. It says three eighty. Do you like these? Uh, I would need to see them in hand. They're all right. I'm not gonna hate on it. Um, without seeing it, like we have on some other shoes. Um, I like it. I hate him, so I won't own them. <laughs> but I don't, I, yeah, I don't think it's downright awful, but I don't know. It's not necessary. This is what I will say. If you're going to cop one of these, you, you have to cop this one. This is the one you have to cop because we're also going to do top 10 Yeezy 350 V2s at the end. Still, and I think you would probably, I'm assuming, have still the first V2 Beluga. It has to be in your top three. Like the first colorway. I think it is. Uh... The first colorway of every Adidas Yeezy model is the one that, that matters the most. Turtle Doves, um, Beluga 1.0s, and this one. So, like, if you have any intentions on yeah. keeping an Adidas Yeezy 380, this will be the one to keep. Or if you have any intentions on selling down the road, this will be the one to keep. Because this one will be, it'll sell pretty good. It's going to sell. First of all, it's selling like 1600 already, all right, on stadium goods. At least it was before last week it was. It's right now at about, I think, 650 yeah, maybe? 660? <laughs> It's definitely not 16, whatever you said. So if this is the one you want to sell, this is the one you cop. If this is the one you want to keep, this is the one you cop. A black version of this? Fam, that joint might be absolute fire. And these glow on the bottom as well. I'm not into stuff like that. That's novelty. But, bruh, them joints are fire to me. I think they're dope. I think they're a dramatic difference. And I'm just, I think I'm just sick of V2s. But, boy, more V2s already set for 2020. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But I think you should cop to keep no, nope. I think no. You should cop to keep for a little while, and they should go through the roof. Nope. All right. Well, I thought you. I thought you want to sell. I do. Uh, I'm copping to resell them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Doran Becker 2019 line. Do you like any of them, George? No. Nope. None of them. No. Nope. George. None of them. No. Nope. George. If you had to pick one, one of them. Doran oh. Becker 2019 line. Shout out to Doran Becker Hospital. We appreciate everything you guys do. Shout out to Nike. We appreciate you. We love the kids. All right. Is there any one of those you like? Let me look at the thing. One. 14 suck. Uh, probably the. Say your first one. No. Is that a. Don't say a, Pegasus. Is that a 55 or 87? 55 is okay. The element. It's all right. It's not too bad. Yeah, the Air Force one's not bad, but I probably would pick. Oh, that's not bad either. Eh, nah, Dang, you like them all. Nah. Which one? The Pegasus? I was gonna say that I was gonna say that's not bad, but it's it's oh, no, that was way over the top. That one looks like a Domino's pizza. All right. I need to chill out. Um probably the the fifty five. And the Air Force One. No. <laughs> you just try No, I'm not the Air Force One is is in the top two, I guess. <laughs> I <laughs> mean the, like sense. this gif is perfect for the <laughs> all Dornbreaker shoes. That's messed up. I said Dornbreaker shoes. <laughs> I didn't say anything else. Look. 
Doran Becker is like I said, we I think I used to love every time we started ever since we started this podcast. I used to love when we talk about Doran Becker because Doran Becker's to me, Doran Becker 13 is still hands down the ugliest sneaker of all time. Okay. Not ugliest Jordan, not ugliest Jordan 13, not ugliest basketball shoe, not ugliest Doran Becker. Jordan 13 Doran Beckers are the ugliest sneaker of all time to me. Now, this Air Force One in this. It's wearable. That joint is absolute fire. The flowers to the swoosh. The back of the shoe is covered in flowers. The etched flowers on the toe box, like the waviness. Them joints are super duper clean. Fam, you sound like you're trying to talk yourself into it. Oh, I'm I'm trying to. I said I'm going to end this year with at least two or three Air Force Ones. No, no, I mean talk yourself into actually, to liking it. No, I not, love this shoe. Copy. It's a great looking shoe. No. Sorry, it is. It's a great looking shoe. The other ones, I don't care for. The, the problem mm-hmm. I have with Dornbeckers, like we've said many times, Dornbeckers should strictly be for kids. Dornbeckers should be kid shoes, period. It shouldn't yes. be for adults. It shouldn't be for men. Now said that many times. And, and I get the shoe, and I understand the whole process of it. I don't like how per- so personal some of them are. Like... I don't want to wear your family's names on my shoe. <laughs> I get it, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that's just, I don't want a shoe that says, like, Mom, Dad, Noah, Jake, and whoever, written on the side. I don't know. You know what's crazy is, like, I always forget those pennies that had the 49ers logo on it, the DB. Remember that model? It was a penny one, oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, the silver one. <laughs> Those should be people should be rocking those like crazy now. The prices on those should be like that. <laughs> it might be. The Niners it's not like you looking for it. I don't know. If, I don't know a single person that owns those. You would think every Niners fan right now will be pulling them out. They don't know they exist. Niner, <laughs> you might be right. Niners fans wear Cortez. And, no, they don't. And Vans. Niners fans yes, they do. wear flip flops. <laughs> Niners fans wear Cortez and Vans. Niner Vans, not Cortez. Yes, they do. Oakland Raider fans wear Cortez. Both <laughs> both fan bases. <laughs> That was a good game too. That Seattle game. Ooh, and I, I picked see Seattle. Oh, we, you must have been in the plane. Yeah, we didn't land till uh, eight something. God, that game was good. Eight oh five. I feel like Seattle only pl- plays extremely great games when somebody's on an airplane. When I'm on an airplane, uh, fire game. Guess who washed them recently? Lamar Jackson. Because do I have a feeling you told me Lamar Jackson was going to be whack a long nope. time ago. Nope. I, I might a, be wrong. I was a proponent of Lamar Jackson in the draft. Now, I will say, I didn't think he was going to be good this good this, this soon. Quick. And I definitely didn't think he'd be better than Darnold. And he may not be better than Darnold long term. Because obviously, you know, in the NFL, at some point, they're going to figure you out. Um, I don't know if you could figure. Mm. They figure, they seem to figure running quarterbacks out, whereas passing quarterbacks can make a. Of course. A long-term career because they can pass and see. A running quarterback can last if you know how to use your athletic ability correctly. If you – Michael Vick, they know how to use it correctly. Like, so I think you could last. Now, like a Kyler Murray on the Cardinals, he has no idea how to use his athleticism whatsoever. He literally yeah, runs up there. Yeah, but he's the best passer of any of these athletic quarterbacks in recent memory, which means he's going to be in the league forever because he's like – That's debatable. He's, like he's going to get hurt. He's like a shorter Steve Young. I've never seen somebody lose so many yards – like in in plays, like he'll run around for sixteen yards. You're right, but he's made the team he's with the rookie, pri- which I'm he's fine with made it. the team with probably the second least amount of talent in the NFL behind Miami Dolphins. Actually, what are they four and four, three and four and one? I mean, like that. how in the world does that team? That team has multiple road wins. I think how they do in New York, and it should have beat Tampa Bay this week. To be honest with you, um, yeah, but no, 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 he's gonna be good because one, he's he's good, but he's getting the opportunity as well. That's why Lamar Jackson is so good no, because no, no, he got no. the opportunity as well. That, yeah, that doesn't Ask matter. For, no, some, it matters. It wor- no, it ma- no, look it at, matters. No, look at the Aaron Rodgers didn't play for like his first three years. No, no, no. I'm talking about athletic quarterbacks like them that need to improve in certain areas. It's Lamar Jackson needed for to improve, everyone. Right, Lamar Jackson needed to improve in passing. If Lamar Jackson would have sat on the bitch any longer and longer and longer, he would be so far behind. The eight ball on his skills advancing him. They they they, they, let Flacco, they let Flacco and they put Jackson in periodically with Flacco. And then you know what they said? All right, we have a Super Bowl quarterback, but you gotta go. We're gonna go with this guy. Give opportunity. Haskins. Haskins is already in trouble. Yeah, because it's in his second year. It's not like his first year. They got rid of Joe Flacco. Yeah, this is his, this is the second year now. I'm saying that them allowing him to like get in periodically when Flacco was playing and then making the full commitment That's to him. different for everyone. Look right. at Baker Mayfield last year versus Baker Mayfield this year. Baker Mayfield wasn't that good last year. He was yes, serviceable, he was. and they won. 
It doesn't matter. No, no. Okay. He was good. No, no. He was better than any other Bears, I mean, Browns quarterback we've seen in a long time, and they were winning. That's all that matters. You can't say anybody sucks if you're winning on the Browns team, period. Oh, we win again? I mean, he did what? He was 17 for 28? That's cool. Uh, whatever. No, 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 he was good. I was at the game when he first came in and they ended the streak against the Jets. He was good. Okay. He had a good game. Baker Mayfield? Is off. You could tell Baker Mayfield was not going to be a quality quarterback for any period of time. It's something I mean, about his him. His career is not decided already. Donaldson, he has something that he could be an absolute quality quarterback. Who is that? Pro- I mean, Donaldson, whatever, for the Jets. Sam Darnold? Donald. Him? Man. I'm thinking of the if you don't Lyman stop for the Rams. Disrespecting USC, you know, just smashed ASU First of all, this weekend. USC quarterback. Okay. So ASU sucks. <laughs> all right. We they started been, off they, extremely they high. Been no, no. Yes. we started off the season really ben good. Those, ben now ben we had, suck. Ben had right. Ben had Look, sucked. he, his upside is tremendous. His problem is on the Jets. I have no idea what he will be able, fully capable of until he leaves that team. That's a 100% fact. Mm. Or they get a new head coach and some players. I mean, Bengals, all those years of Carson Palmer, Carson Palmer was really good. Stuck on the Bengals, all right? If Carson Palmer would have had the opportunity on a better team way sooner, the sky would have been the limit for him. He wasn't bad on the Raiders, which you're right. He played pretty good on the Raiders, but it was too late by then. Wasn't bad on the Cardinals, but it was too late by then. I don't know what you're talking about. Haskins getting the green light that he is starting from now throughout is key right now. I don't think he's going to be any good. You weren't saying that before. No, I just don't. It's the Redskins. That's what makes you say that. It isn't him. We have no idea. It's the Redskins. It's it, the Redskins. It might be the Redskins' development. Yeah, yeah, it might be that. They have no I'm, idea what to do with any African American players. <laughs> Nobody. Does. They have no idea what to do with black quarterbacks whatsoever. I don't think they know what to do with anybody. Anybody. You're right. Nobody. They're Lyman's. This nobody. Man's got cancer or something. They tell him he don't got cancer. Bro, I don't know what's going on. We. I was sued. The un- bro. They are a weird <laughs> team, man. But, Daniel Snyder got a lot of money, so sue him. Yeah, but getting the green light that it's you're different for be- everybody. Okay. You go- it's different for everybody. I don't think so. I, I, I think yes, it, it okay, is. No, no, it is, but there are specific. Aaron Rodgers people. sat. Now he's one of the greatest quarterbacks okay. of all time. Brady sat. That's different. Now he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Those are different situations. Rodgers. Okay, we expected good things out of Rodgers because of he was good in college and stuff like that. His where he dropped it in the draft was unfortunate. He sat there. He's. He's good. Brady, we didn't expect that out of Brady. Like, we didn't expect, like, oh, you're sitting because we're waiting. He just so fortunate okay. that Drew Bledsoe got hurt. He came in the game phenomenal. Never got off the field But again. that's not the point that so, we're making, though. We're no, not, we point, never said it was, no, no. It was only first-round picks we're yeah, talking yes. about. My point is when they make quarterbacks who have high talent sit, it hurts them. Goff. Goff no, would have been. not true. If, if Fisher was still the coach of the Rams, Goff would never be on the field right now. Goff looks like he's still playing for Fisher right now this Stop season. Stop it. He's not playing as good as he is. And I, I, look, this, he's having a bad year right now. But I don't look at him having a bad year next year. Like, he's a good quarterback. You just said Baker Mayfield's never going to be good. Like, oh, he's never going to be good. Ago. He's never going to be good. Okay, so. Uh... Goff. Goff was good. Goff has all the tools and everything and understanding to be Yo, good. Yo, fam, what are you talking about, fam? All right. All right, you'll see. Every quarterback. I know you different. like Baker Mayfield. I know you do. You love the Browns for some odd reason. That's your second favorite team. But the Browns are a disaster. Got, like, I mean, in-laws relation. So, I mean, got to like them. You don't have to do anything. Nah, I got, you got You have to. Me and you are best friends. You hate the Cowboys. <laughs> what does best friends got to do with? It matters. Huh? With in-laws. You the Cowboys. Y'all don't ever root for the Cowboys. I root for y'all teams. You never root for the Cowboys. Yeah, that's not true. You never root for the Cowboys. No, no, that's true. But the fact that you say you always root for our teams, no, no, no. What? Man, I root for the Raiders to pick the Raiders and stuff to win just as much as anybody and the Browns. Now, when the Browns are done bad, oh, I laugh at them. Yeah, you're the number one person throwing shots. At the Browns, not the Raiders. I don't care about the Raiders. <laughs> well, there you go. You but I lived in Oakland. I've been, to, I've been to more Raiders. No, I've been to more Cowboys games than the Raiders games. But I've been to tons of Raiders games because I lived in Oakland. I root for the A's and the and the Giants stuff because I was built in Oakland. Like, I am born in L.A., but I... The Bay Area raised me, so I always root for teams like that. Period. Talking about Trash. haters, man, what's hot in here? Trash. It is. What else we got to talk about? Is that it? I have no idea. That's all I got. B. You got me easy aliens. We said already. Still reading. Uh, I'm still reading Ric Flair's text. Look, <laughs> college football is trash too. Just to give you a heads up. It's not much to talk about sneaker wise this week. Man. Um. 
And I couldn't find the complex thing. I'm going to wait till the video come out on YouTube. Because the, the stuff that you did send that they already had in the top 10 for sneakers of 2019 was absurd. All right. They had pirate black V2s <laughs> in the top 10 sneakers of 2019. Give me a break. Man. Get out of town. All right. I don't think they suck. But they're tight. And I guarantee they're not in any of our top 10 V2s. Are they in your top 10 V2 350s? Uh, that black shoe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you do? Top. I mean, there's oh, not, yeah, I got it in mind. There's not a I lot of... In mind. Well, right. there's probably one that I should have in mind that I don't. I got it pretty high. But hold on a second. I'm switching this around, too. There's one that I got in there that probably should be a lot higher than it is, but I'm disrespecting I'm gonna, it. I'm going to find this thing. You're not going to find it. <laughs> I, I think they I took am. it down because they're doing the YouTube stuff, and they're going to put the all the conversations and stuff on YouTube probably like next week or something. They did that last time. How would they take it down from that many things, dude, from that many people? Off Twitter, they just go to the little three dots uh, and delete right. it. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. We're doing top 10 Yeezy V2s to us, considering that uh, Yeezy 350 V2s, considering that this new alien comes out this week. And we're going to do top 10 sneakers of the decade, too. That was a good idea by Rico. So we'll have Rico come on the episode. Top 10 sneakers of the decade next week. We're doing it. You in, you in town next week? Yeah. No. Oh. Um, Hold on a second. You're not going to find it. They Man, took it down. Really, I told you that. Really didn't. Yes, they did. I just clicked on top sneakers and it was like a post where they said like, where they went around and took pictures of people's feet. Yeah, they did like <laughs> top sneakers of Complex Con. I talked to the sneakers of 2019. I hate them. Man. Right here. Complex Con panel names, top 10 sneakers of the year. Let's see. That's 2018. Told you. I can tell by the sound of your breathing you put the wrong one. All right. Man, you can't scrub it from the entire internet, you freak. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Only your screenshots exist, and I don't know where you sent that from. I've looked through our thread. I looked through me, your thread. Yeah, but I didn't send the whole top ten. I only so I only sent certain ones. Yeah, but I don't even remember what the second one was you sent. You <laughs> sent you sent two. One was Pirate Black V2, and what was the other one? I can't remember. <laughs> and, I, and I thought two more videos. I'm heated. I'm going to have to hit up. I want to know who's on the panel, and I'll call them find out. Yep, you do that. Oh, speaking of which, I seen Welty interviewing uh, oh my you God. Steph thing. I didn't watch it all, but I did see him talk about how he was going to send. Yeah, Michael the shoe signed or whatever. Yeah. That's actually got a fire, though. Because if I, I was, mean, if I was Jordan. I'm not giving Welty any credit, but it was no, funny no, no, that no. Steph said that. Oh, yeah, it was funny that Steph said that. I have no that. idea how he got that interview. Man. <laughs> Anyways, I, I can't talk about complex anymore. I just don't even care anymore. I should have called tapes to ask him about Air Force Ones, but tapes love Air Force Ones. I don't understand how this got removed. I, I, is it because they got hated on so bad? Or I may have deleted it all. I told you. Hold on. I'm about to call tapes real quick. Tapes. I'm about to ask them Air Force Ones are back. Man. Hey, yo. Rock. What up? What up? <laughs> This is Greg and George from the Sneak This Podcast. How are you doing, This is sir? Gregory. <laughs> What's poppin'? I got a question for you because George is a hater. Hey, yo. Okay, now <laughs> this might not matter to you because you're from New York, but aren't Air Force Ones wow. back, unequivocally back? Oh, facts. They're All back. facts. Oh, facts. They're back. They're selling now. People, they're reselling a little bit. People wearing them? Yeah, they back. They back. George says just because he doesn't like them, that, that that doesn't mean that they're back. No, 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 no. Easy. Don't we change it? You can watch the show tomorrow and hear what I said. <laughs> no, nah, they back, though. The collabs. They're not they're back like way. SBs are back. Okay. Okay, Tapes. Would you say that S... Okay, George said that SBs actually died and came back. He's saying that Air Force Ones never died and came back. I think I might agree with that. I feel like Yay! Uh, Air Force Ones died. Yeah, yeah. They, died? Uh, uh, they was there, though. They was always there. <laughs> You're SB. in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that anymore. Uh, SB. <laughs> Say what? SB's, uh, SBs died, though. Cats was not looking, checking for them. They wasn't even making it anymore. I mean, they were making them. We just weren't looking for them. Only people that nah. ever premiered would post one and we would see it every once in a while. 
Oh, that's true. But yeah, yeah. they their plane rides died. But Air Force Ones was like they were sticking around. And then you know, like the little, it was like it became like the little the little thought shoe for a while too. Wait, wait, wait. All white ones. The, white Air Force Ones. I mean, wait, all all white. Yeah. I mean, oh, that yeah. kid, that, yeah, that was probably about like eight years ago though. So like they was always kind of consistent. They always like, I, I, yeah, I think I think the Air Force One kind of always is. Always been around. How many pair of Air Force Ones did you buy this year? Did I buy this year? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man, that's sad. <laughs> Maybe one. <laughs> Wait, which one is that? Oh, man. I don't even know. You buy too much stuff. I don't know. Stuff, I don't know. Might, oh, no. You know what? No, it probably wasn't this year. Maybe two. Probably last year. The Rockefeller and then the um, John Elliott. Oh, so you don't qualify to answer this question then because you didn't buy uh, one. I don't change it year. up now. No, nah, he didn't buy one this year. Don't change it up now. I ain't, buy, I ain't buy one this year. Well, well the, my problem is also, I don't know. See, I wait. I always wait. And then I, I do want the New York one, but, you know, I just ain't jump on. You know how I am. I'll wait a little bit and I'll cop it. Yeah, you like to pay the most highest uh, resellers possible because you rich. No, I don't. Yeah. I try not to. Yeah, right. I try not to. <laughs> try not you to. buy everything. He sent me pictures of Louis Vuitton wallet asking me which one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who does oh, that? I, hey. Tapes is rich, though. He keep all that fantasy I football money, too. I'm trying to figure out should I go classic <laughs> or the little checkerboard. Yeah, all right. He's, he's asking. He's, he sent a picture. Should I go LV or should I go checkerboard? Yeah, all right. Tapes is rich, dude. He's doing something <laughs> nah. different in Tucson, man. Because he might make the he might make the most money out of everybody in this in this whole city of Tucson, man. <laughs> no. The only person well, that makes more money is the president of uh, Sean Miller, probably makes. Well, that. Sean, the, the, <laughs> yeah, Sean Miller, Sean Miller, coach of U of A, and all their players because they take money from. <laughs> yeah, and it's hey, tapes. Real, huh? George, how you feel about U of A, real quick basketball? I mean, I didn't watch the game the other night, but it, the final score looked good. So yeah, I don't know. We might be alright, man. No, nah, y'all we gonna might be suck. We might be alright. <laughs> y'all, y'all make the tournament and get put out. By, uh, y'all get put out by UTEP ASU fan talking about basketball. <laughs> First of all, ASU basketball is pretty good. Like, relax. Our coach is a psychopath, but ASU basketball is pretty good. ASU football sucks. Define pretty good. We're making a tournament. Nah, man, stop it. We're ask, making a tournament ask, this year. Ask tapes. Oh, no. tapes. Is ASU making a tournament? <laughs> Why am I asking tapes this? You're the two <laughs> Ask tapes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I hope not. I hope y'all don't. You know what? I think we're all way too old to still hate each other's teams. I don't even hate you of a Man, like that what? anymore. I, no, I hate the Cowboys. Okay. Okay. First of all, you're a Giants fan. That's different, dude. We're allowed to hate each other professional teams, but hating each other colleges is dumb now. Though. It don't make any sense no more, though. Unless we're at the know. game. I, I don't. I don't like seeing that pitchfork. Though. I can't lie. Man, come on, man! Y'all got a cat wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> what so are what? you talking about? So what? That, so what? That... Y'all, y'all over here worshiping other stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, all right. Balin Hay with that pitchfork. Pitchforks are for underwater only. <laughs> yes, the pitchfork is for Aquaman. You're a weird person. <laughs> underwater Triton. <laughs> a weird Wild person. It. Underwater only, fam. Do you Wild tapes? Do you like? Oh, okay, tapes. Do you like any of the Doran Beckers that come out this year? The 2019 Doran Beckers? Nope. No. You don't even like the Air Force One? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. I can't. No, don't listen to Tapes because he says that about everything. He tells me he hates everything and then he and then he sends another picture and be Tapes like, is right. What? I don't know, B. And then he'll be like, yo, I cop three of them. <laughs> no, nah, like the first pitches never do any justice. But I don't I, the Doran Beckers always man, they look crazy, man. They look they for little kids, but the Air Force One is, is dope. But and then I bought that I bought that mid that looked kind of like Crayola box anyway, so I mean Oh wh- what what is that? Like who made what is that? Is that a fear pack too? What? Yeah, it's part of the Fears pack, and he's an artist, I guess. I saw people taking pictures with him. I didn't know it was a guy. I thought it was all women that did this Jordan One mids color pack. I didn't know it was a guy. I didn't know that. Yeah, I saw him because of Erica Badu. He took a she got. Yeah, that's what I saw. And I was like, oh, okay. They're not. They're not bad. Erica Badu is fine. Oh, you know that's the forbidden fruit right there. Yeah, she's a crazy person, but she's fine. <laughs> they said she got that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I don't know. Yeah, all right, we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> all right, James, that was it. I'll call you for that. Later. All right, later. later. Well, James was right. They're yeah. back.
expert. <laughs> and he said, uh, Air Force Ones are the most fire DBs of all time. Mm. I got nothing else. You want to do, oh, well, college football is trash real quick before we get, before we do our, our NFL picks and our Yeezy team. College football is trash. You know why college football is trash? Because college football, it makes it makes absolutely no sense. You know what they should do? Division one should only be all the top schools and the thing. It you shouldn't be able to be good in your division and not make the playoffs, too. I don't I don't understand the college football setup. I don't get it. Like I don't understand how I can go undefeated or be kicking butt. What is Minnesota's record? Undefeated? Yeah, why? Why can't they get in the playoffs? They will if they go undefeated. Man, they're not getting they're not letting Minnesota in the playoffs. What are you talking about? They would go and play in the conference championship game. They beat Ohio State. They're going. Bro, I don't believe it. No, they're trying to get Alabama in still. What's the top four teams right now? Um, LSU's LSU, one. Clemson, Ohio State, and I think Georgia was number four. I thought it was. Oh, okay. Look. Every one team out of every single conference, division, whatever, should make the playoffs. So it yeah. should be. They need to change be, it. I'm sick of that. To the top eight. I'm tired of it, man. All right. Mm, I am sick and tired of it. You should be sick and tired of it, too. See, you don't care about football playoffs, college football playoffs and stuff like that. You care about the games. I care about firing Clay Helton. That's what I care about. What for? Like, that would be under the impression that you you thought your team was going to be better or good. What? Like, what are you talking about? USC is supposed to compete for the national championship every year. Okay. They're supposed to. USC. Okay. There's a problem scouting wise. Now, who? I mean, what, what do you want them to do? No, the problem is because they have a coach who has everyone thinks is going to be fired. They have no stability. That's why no one wants to go there. Bro, who are you, who else are you going to get their coach? What? Who else are you going to get? You get Harbaugh. You get Harbaugh from Michigan. They can get whoever they want. They're USC. Harbaugh saved his job with like other whack wins. They're probably going to try to hire Urban Meyer. They should, and Michigan should too. Even though you said he said he won't work there. All right. And they should be. Or they should be trying to get old Sooner Boy. Um, what's his name? He's coaching in the CFL, fam. Or whatever <laughs> I that's called. That. I don't know what's up with that. But they said teams might be Yo, trying to where's this it? complex stuff at? No? I told you Angry. it's gone. No, it's not. They wiped it off like Disney Plus. <laughs> yes. Disney they... Plus took all the Marvel stuff off of Netflix and everything. Yes, they followed that 10-step thing where it was like, delete your entire you know, I was extremely... identity off the internet. I was extremely hype about Disney Plus, but... I only want to watch the Star Wars show, maybe some National Geographic stuff. You go look at it, I'm like... All Marvel movies are going to be on there. Yeah, that's fine, but like I've watched every single one of all time. So it's like, what am I going back to look for? When they put new series on there? I don't know. Yeah, I guess, but... And then when you pay for it, you give me your login and I get to use it, fam. I got it free with Verizon. If you got Verizon Unlimited, it's free for a year. So, we, man, we got it free for an entire year. Did you get an email for that? Because I got Unlimited, fam. No, you just go to the um, Disney Plus thing, yeah, but how go to you... sign up. I'm sorry. But somehow you would have to find out that. No, go to Google, type in Verizon Disney Plus. I ain't worried about all that, fam. So I guess you don't want it then. I guess you're trying to watch. I'm trying, trying to find Disney, out Steve how Bo they. Willie. Okay. Yeah. I guess you're trying to watch it. How did they tell people about it? Because it can't just be randomly someone found it out. Either way, I'm signed up, man. So that's all that matters. I watched the very first episode of Simpsons last night. It sucks. Of man. Simpsons? Yeah, it's weird. What do you mean? Simpsons, Simpsons is all on there. Everything. The very episode. first episode, like ever, you mean? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like the new season's not going to be on Fox. It's only going to be on nah, Disney. Nah. Nah. Damn, I mean, what are you talking about? Nah. I haven't watched The Simpsons in probably 10 years. Not even on accident? Like, you can easily like, come across it. Yeah, like maybe like watch like what, 30 seconds of it. Uh, You want to do NFL picks? Dang, look at your boy PJ. Oh, <laughs> tapes. Oh, did he tag us? I didn't see it. Not tapes. Uh, uh, Black Wall Disney. <laughs> I was about to say King Orlando. I was like King Florida, Black, man. Black Walt Disney is funny. Shout out to John King. Bro, that man lives at, at Disney World. Oh, I'm going to Disney last week. Oh, my gosh. I'm taking Cortez a surprise for his birthday on Friday. He has no idea. You said you were in town. He's never been on an airplane before, so I'm taking my airplane. Damn, you just got done saying you're doing something this weekend in town, and then you told me I was going out of town. Now you going out of town? I'm not doing nothing in town this week. You just say you're going to Disneyland. I am going out of town. Oh. Are y'all as confused as I am? What? You I'm just, going. I'm going to Disneyland this week. All right. <laughs> I, me and Cortez are flying out Friday, going to Disneyland, and then come back Saturday. Okay. So yeah, I'm going out of town. So you just got done earlier in the show talking about something this weekend in town, and you were to me, you were like, "Oh, you're gonna be gone anyways," and now you like you going out of town. I'm not going. I'm not doing nothing in town. What are you talking about? I never told you that. I never said I was doing nothing in town. What are you talking about? <laughs> Earlier in the show, you said something, and then you were like, oh, you're going out of town anyways. 
You were talking about something. Oh, uh, maybe I, I can't remember why. Either way, Cortez, my son, has never been on an airplane, so oh, I'm no. surprised he's going to go on an airplane. We're going to fly to California. And now he's going to watch the show, I know. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> going to fly to California, taking a Disneyland surprise, because his birthday's next week. So I'm doing that. Just me and him. Only me and him doing it. We hanging out, B. Woo! I can't wait, though. I can't wait. You have kids, George? You can be excited to do stuff like that. You shouldn't have let him run around on the street today, you know, out from the yeah okay first of all i don't know what that means because i don't know what i don't know what that stands for <laughs> um he said i'm yo i'm with you now my bad yo pj tech was breaking away i bet he was wearing two thousand dollar sneakers too <laughs> and he couldn't even dunk uh nfl pick i NFL remember picks. watching pj tucker in college fam yeah me too for texas he's actually pretty good in college um let's do nfl picks let's go home i said he got taken out by the base of the net <laughs> <laughs> you mean the base of the hoop? <laughs> the stanchion? Bro, Ohio State beat Villanova by 25. By the end of the season, Villanova's going to be super tight. That same thing happens every Villanova year with Villanova. Won a championship again. Actually, I got Michigan State. I don't think they won a championship, but I bet you they make the Elite Eight. You know what's funny? Something I, crazy. I pick Michigan State every single year to get to the championship because you just never know which year it's going to be. But this year, they're going to win the championship. Now, you know what? They might put up, get put up Final Four. Michigan, I don't know. Michigan we'll State see. not winning it, fam. Huh? What are you talking about? I bet the odds of them winning it is pretty high in Vegas. Huh? They got to be in the top three. You're probably right, but the Arizona Wildcats are going to be cutting, <laughs> Man, cutting the nets right. down. Stop it! Yeah, right. Because the net, they don't get out of anger, like <laughs> vandalism. Because I mean, they're not doing the winning. Uh, y'all don't y'all stop paying y'all players. All right. NFL picks. Let's do NFL picks and do a top ten Yeezys and we go home. Yo. Short episode, guys. Sorry, we gotta go somewhere. Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Pittsburgh. That's Pittsburgh easy. Pittsburgh wins? Of course. Pittsburgh might win the get in the playoffs now. Pittsburgh is in the sixth seed right now. Has a tiebreaker over the Raiders somehow. I don't know how they have the tiebreaker over the Raiders because they have the same record and they haven't played each other. Uh, do they play each other? Division same? record maybe or um, – Okay, Pittsburgh is washed. All right, their quarterback is some dookie sandwich from Oklahoma State or wherever he's from. He's terrible. Longest throw of the season is like three yards down the field and then his receivers catch it and like – Jump to the end zone. But you know what they're doing? Still, current defense is back. Yeah, they got a good defense, but they've always had a good defense. I'm going Browns. You really about to pick the Browns? Yes, I am. Just because I need Steelers to lose. Okay. We're talking. I won the pool this week. Shout out to myself winning the pool. Why you CBS didn't say that on week. the phone? I forgot. Oh, I forgot. That's what I should have said to him. Won the pool this week in tapes pool. Shout out to the pool. Won it. Won about 80 bucks. Uh, you had no drama either because you had two game lead going to the last game. A watch because I knew teams. No I knew teams. Drama. I knew Titans was going to beat the Chiefs. Who like, did I you end it. up with 10 or did you stick with nine? Did you win the last one? I won the last one too. Seattle over uh, uh, Niners. I'm a, I'm a god at picks. Huh? It takes me a while to get warmed up. You couldn't beat me in any of the weeks I, I actually I put bad. my thing in. I was bad, but like I'm, I get warmed up week 11. All right. Steelers over Browns. Period. The Browns are like, I and mean, the Steelers are starting to pick, figure it out. How much points the Steelers went by? This week? Uh, probably just a touchdown. Okay. Pittsburgh by seven over Cleveland. Get your bets in. You heard it here first by from, <laughs> from Gregor. I should have went to Vegas and bet it this uh, week. All right. Uh, Dallas at Detroit. Dallas. Stafford's out. He got broke spines. <laughs> <laughs> He's got multiple spines. He got, he got all two of them. Broke, man. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, I'll go with Dallas only because Stafford's out. Normally. Detroit at home. Mm. Detroit. No, no. Detroit in Dallas. I would have picked Detroit. But Detroit, Dallas and Detroit, I picked Dallas. That doesn't make any sense. Trust me. Um, Dak, if he don't stop doing that hip dance, uh, hip thrust, <gasps> uh, it's going to be the end of I Dak. I hate Chris Collinsworth and all of them because they had no business showing that video. Oh, yeah, they did. No, they didn't. Yeah, there they was did. absolutely no. First of all, there's no reason to be filming him doing his warm-up workout. That's stupid, one. Two, why did they have to show that? They filmed now, everyone doing it. No, no, no. It. They tried to show like, man, how he gets his power, his hips, and how he moves. They tried to make it like that. But as soon as I watched that video, me and Chris was like, oh, that's it. I was like, oh, that's it. The first thing Chris said was like, well, Shakira's going to someone. <laughs> like that. The internet is <laughs> faster than this. I hate that. You know? I'm not mad at it. But people making fun of it is like, all right, the videos are funny, but, but he's a quarterback. He throws the ball with all the – stop it. All I'm right. going in that bodega in New York, then walk going down the aisle with them hips. <laughs> walk into the cooler. I'm the not going to lie to you, dude. I want to learn how to do these videos like that. I don't know how they do – they cut him out of a video. And, bro, when he walk, he be walking like this. Like, it just be looking crazy how he be just like this down the aisle and stuff. That joint is funny. Mm-hmm. Anyway, and Dak is phenomenal quarterback and deserves his money too. Yeah, he does. 
Thanks, George. I don't I mean I don't know if he would do it in a different He's good team, but yeah. Better than Wentz. See, I, he's not better than Wentz. But my thing is like it's you quarterbacks are quarterbacks are I, this is the one of the captain obvious points like the thing you read earlier that said drug dealers don't, <laughs> don't like fake dollars. You know the better your offensive about. line is at protecting you, the better you're going to look as a quarterback, but you don't have the threat of getting sacked. So I think you can make any quarterback look bad behind a bad offensive line, except apparently Russell Wilson, because he's never had a good offensive line, and he somehow Elite. keeps doing it. If he had a good offensive line, it might be the opposite. He might not know what to do. He might be like, yeah, right. he might be whack. And just brain gets scrambled. <clears throat> I think Dak is good. I just don't know. Their offensive line has been good for four or five years now. So if last he had year, a bad, bad offensive though. line, I... It was all right last year. And this year is not that good. <laughs> it's not that good this year. But it's, it's good. I don't know how good he would be. Anyways, uh, Dallas, because Stafford's back is broken, or whatever his injury is. I'm just taking your word for it. I know he don't got multiple spines, <laughs> multiple stenosis, or whatever, whatever <laughs> you're talking about. Jacksonville at Indianapolis, the team you said was going to the playoffs. Now... Brissett is playing this week, I think. Mm. I think he is because he's not on any of the injury reports. He's playing this week. Foles comes back this week, we right? Shall see. Yes, he does. So he's back this week. It's at home in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Jacksonville. Oh, so you set people up for the picking Colts and then you pick Jacksonville, huh? Well, I mean, Jacksonville always plays tough against the Colts. Always, except last year. Last year they got washed. But usually, typically, they play really good against them. It's a division game. They need to win it to stay in it, stay alive somehow. I think the <laughs> Jaguars are what, four and five now? The Colts are five and three right now, five and four right now. Houston is at what seven and three, something like that. Whatever the case may be, so they got a Jag Jaguars win. That's it. Jacksonville wins because the team you picked to go to the playoffs stinks. You think the okay? They stink. Their defense stinks. All right, the quarterback is okay. Uh, Run, the running back is really good. Offensive line is really good. Defense stinks. Besides the middle linebacker. All right. Well, if Andrew Luck comes out the tunnel today this week, don't be surprised. You are the number one <laughs> hater of Andrew Luck, and I am the number one of telling you he's really good. So don't I try to I never tell said me. Andrew Luck sucked. Yeah, you did. I Multiple did, times. No, I said he's a bust because he's always hurt. Yeah, same thing. Bust sucks, same difference. What's the difference? No. Denver at Minnesota. What's the difference? Minnesota, but I really want to pick Denver. No, you don't. Yeah, They're going to beat Denver by 30. <clears throat> I really want to pick Denver. They're going to beat Denver by so many points. Um Damn, pick ten for going in Minnesota. All right. What with a rookie quarterback? Good it luck. feels like a Cousins f flub of a week. It feels like his one's building because they are worshiping Cousins right now. They didn't run a special of him before Sunday games. All I heard all last week was how Cousins was whack in exactly. prime time games. And guess what they Which did? Which I don't understand. And guess what they did? Watch them. They were just trashing Cousins the beginning of the season. Now all of a sudden he's a god. Now no. Everyone tried to trash him last week and pick against. I don't even remember who they played, but I know it was a good team. Uh. Packers, maybe? No. Who they wash? They said you can't. Dallas, right? We played Dallas Cowboys. this past week. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Last week. Yeah. Cousins. They should have lost that. Cousins game. showed up. Actually, you know what? No. The Vikings one and Cowboys best, are pretty evenly matched. One of the best running backs in the league. <clears throat> Cousins, they get the job done. By uh, a million. Dalvin Cook is one Denver. of the Dalvin Cook is one of the best running backs in the, in the league this year. I'm not gonna say the league. Well, what's the difference? Because usually he's hurt. Like he misses. He's only been in the league two years. Like he was a rookie last year. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was a rookie last year. Yes, he was. Three years. It's his third year. No, it's not. He was a rookie last year. No. Yes. Last year he missed like eight games with hamstring problems. Yes, he was injured. It was his rookie uh, year. I don't know about that. I'm gonna pick that up. All right, rookie year. Houston at Baltimore. I can't wait for this pick. Oh, Houston. All right. Houston so, went to Kansas City. Watched them. The worst pick anyone's ever made on this show. You think okay? Houston didn't beat Kansas City in Kansas City. Man, what? You must be thinking about the Colts. Houston beat Kansas City in Kansas City. Yes, it did. And I told you when the Colts scored that first touchdown, they were doing way too much celebrating. And Michael Jordan Watson went out there and washed them. That was when uh, what's the name was injured. I don't care who's injured. No, who was injured? I'm looking at this game. Tom about Mahomes was playing. Mahomes had about seven touchdowns. They still lost. All right. I'm looking at this thing right now. Talking about Houston went into Kansas City. Deshaun Watson threw two interceptions in that game. So? They won. I don't care. Trash. I don't care. Won. You should. They won. Mahomes, three TDs, one interception. What was the score, though? Trying to figure out if that's the game he got hurt or not. No, he didn't get hurt in that game. What are you talking about? He might have. No, he didn't. 
<laughs> you looking for any reason for me not to be right? <clears throat> no, I'm looking for any reason for things to make sense because this makes no sense. Sorry, Houston's going into Baltimore to win that game. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They should have lost to the Raiders. It, at home. What's this, what, what's next? No, nah, no. Nah, they they were lucky to beat the Raiders. You, the refs gave them every Houston call. Houston will lose to the Raiders in the playoffs. <clears throat> All right. You don't agree? What are you talking about? They will. Raiders might get I'm the trying to remember card. when they they beat the Colts at home. Or not the Colts. Uh, Raiders should have beat the, the Texans in the Wilds. Wait, didn't the Raiders beat the Texans? No, that was when Derek Carr broke his back. They oh, beat him in the right. regular season. Derek Carr they broke should his, have. They, the Raiders should have. Broke his been, leg. He didn't break his body. Yeah, no wonder. Broke his leg and they lost. <laughs> yeah, Matt Stafford. Because they had Dookie Sandwich from Michigan State starting at quarterback. Scaredman.com. Okay. Fine. Gloam, Gloam, whatever his name no, is. No, he didn't start. Was it his starter? No. Who was it? Michigan State man. Kirk Cousins? <laughs> yes. Cameron, Cameron Cook or whatever his name was. Last name Cook. Oh, that's right. Because Garbage can Cook. Gloan was hurt too. Gloan was his name? No, McGloin was McGloin. his backup. Oh, I thought Once he was. Once Carr got second. injured, he's a backup. And then he got hurt again, and then they started Cook Man, didn't they? No. I thought they started the third string that game. Maybe. I have no idea. I think I'm trying did. to delete that from my memory because Cook, <laughs> Cook had that no as a starting NFL game. What's the next game? Houston over Baltimore. Hold on a second, fam. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jets at Redskins. Redskins. Dang, you picking all the nonsense. Uh, Redskins at home. Haskins guaranteed position. They had the bye week this week. They're going to play come out playing good this week. I kind of hope the Redskins win just because I'm tired of hearing the Jets with two wins talking about playoffs and the Raiders got the Jets next week. So they got Chief, they got Bengals at home and then they go to the Jets. And no joke, if the Raiders destroy the Bengals and are 6-4 and four and then go to the Jets and somehow lose to that trash franchise, I will come into this room and destroy every wall. <laughs> but if the Jets lose to go to 2-8, and eight, then they won't care the next week and they'll get washed by the Raiders. Um, Atlanta at Carolina. You want to talk about the most ridiculous game of the entire season. Atlanta winning somehow in so New Orleans. I am so mad I didn't pick Atlanta. I was this close to picking Atlanta last week. That's the most nonsensical win maybe in like, 10 years in the NFL. Well, they're going to beat the Panthers this week, too. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yes, no they one, are. No one can stop Christian McCaffrey. Okay, no one can stop him, but they can stop everybody else. So. I thought nobody yeah. could stop Drew Brees either. They don't got nobody <laughs> else. And what's up with Kamara? Kamara's wagging now. Yeah. But he's not getting the ball. He's hurt. I know he's hurt a little bit. He but played I don't know last week because I watched a little bit of it, but I don't understand. <clears throat> Atlanta sucks. I'm not listening to stories about Atlanta from you, especially outdoors. Uh, first of all, you know I hate everything about Atlanta it's an Falcons. outdoor game. Not an indoor game. Good. Atlanta was New Orleans. It was indoors. Atlanta wins. No, they don't. Cool. Carolina wins by 27. No, nope, Atlanta wins by 15. I didn't even pick the prior game. I'm going to pick Washington just because I want the Jets to lose, but I think the Jets probably win. Nope. Um, Baltimore's going to smash Houston. I don't nope. know if I picked that one either. Um, Buffalo at Miami. Miami. Nope. Buffalo. Okay. Buffalo doesn't make the playoffs. Miami wins three in a row. Playoffs. They don't make the playoffs. How do you figure that? Buffalo doesn't make the playoffs. How do you figure that? They're, they're going to lose the ne- probably the next five, six games. All right. Okay. Uh, New Orleans at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Nope. New Orleans. No, no, no. Tampa Bay. Or New Orleans not losing two games in a row. Bro, you might lose ten games this week. You might go two and ten. Or okay. how many games? First are there? of all, don't explain to me. The how, no, no, no. Don't explain to me how the Falcons going to lose outside to Carolina, and then tell me how the Saints are going to win outside in Tampa Bay. Because the Saints, Tampa Bay, Tampa because Bay, the Saints are actually a really good team, and that made fine. no sense that's that happened fine. last. Tampa Bay they've been playing really good the last few weeks. No, they haven't. Man, what they went into Seattle and almost mopped up the Seahawks. Ended up losing at the end from a kick, but they went into Seattle and mopped them up. One, they uh, and the Cardinals ain't nobody, but they played really good that game. They're gonna beat the Saints you this week. You on the show earlier said the Cardinals should have beat them. They no, should've. they're not playing well. Right. They just happen to be competitive in certain games. Sounds good. Uh, Tampa Bay wins. New Orleans not losing two games in a row. Stop Tampa with Bay the foolishness. Tampa Bay wins by seventeen. To the two worst teams in that division. Man, what? Go. Man, what? Go. I changed it to eleven. Go. Seventeen. Man, what? Go Cincinnati at Oakland. I'm picking Oakland, but I feel like yes. somebody's in trouble. A team that's favored by ten and a half. Is I feel like somebody's winless, in trouble. Lose to a winless team. I feel like somebody's in trouble this week. Yeah, John Gruden. If he loses that game, 
<laughs> no, John Gruden's a god. They're about to build a statue. At- <laughs> Not if he loses to the 0-9 Bengals. Yeah. And they lost to the Bengals in like 2016 season opener or something, like 44-7. to They got revenge like this. Like Derek Carr and the running backs and the receivers off the line like this. A Birdman hand rub. Can't wait to see Josh Jacobs in person. I'm going to dap him up for the game, too. <laughs> Autograph. <laughs> Cardinals at San Francisco 49ers in Santa Clara. In <clears throat> Santa Clara 49ers. The Cardinals played the Niners really good on Halloween, but that was a short week Thursday, but Niners are going to beat the Cardinals. All right. And New England. Are you going to pick any teams? Because you haven't picked the one team to win anything. Oh, yeah, I did. You I just said... keep dissing all my, all my picks. Because your picks are ridiculous. New Orleans is going to smash Tampa Bay. I said that. And then, obviously, the Niners are winning that game. They're home. All right? Obviously. Don't do Cardinals that. can't stop the run, and the Niners can do whatever they want in the run game. New England at Philadelphia. New England. They win by 40. Only reason you're picking that is because you don't like the Eagles. I hate the Eagles. Yep. I hate Wentz now. Um, and I like them too. Say the Baltimore. So Baltimore has a running quarterback who can do th- certain things against New England that Philly can't do. Wait a minute. Are Wentz you is- actually thinking about that game? Man, what? The Eagles are at home, man. I don't care if the Eagles are playing. I don't care. If- oh, oh! So you're totally cool with saying the Bucks are going to be the seven and two uh, Saints at home without thinking about it or doing whatever so you, you were doing. The, so you think the Pages are going to lose two weeks in a row? The, that's the toughest part of their schedule is All right. Baltimore, and then immediately next game at Eagles. Yes, mm-hmm. Eagles can absolutely win that game. <clears throat> All right, you got Eagles over Pats. I didn't say that. Who's I'm winning? still, I'm still, man. If you interrupt me one more time when I'm doing my analysis, I swear my to God, huh? pick. Bro, we have 36 minutes before the next thing happens. I want to get out of before then. Yeah, all right. And my stomach is bubbling me. Ooh, you got a dookie in that seat. You're in right now. Um, I don't think Philly can do what Baltimore did because they don't have the running quarterback. Wentz can scramble, obviously, but he can't do what Lamar Jackson can do. Um, New England wins. Um. Spread is minus four. I think Eagles cover those. It'll be a close game. Um, Bears at Rams. Toilet bowl. Bears. Toilet bowl game. Bears can't do anything against anybody. Aaron Donald might have 12 sacks by himself in that game. Rams win by one point, three to two. (laughs) Bears win that game. Rams win. Uh, KC at, ooh, this is a good one. KC at. And I'm going to say San Diego because I hate the Chargers and I don't care if they moved. I'm going. I tried to see who plays better in Mexico because the game is in Mexico. But every <laughs> I game. I don't think you have enough history to like. You do. See who play. No, you, you do. Don't. You know, you do. The problem is, no, is that don't. every time Kansas City and the Chargers were scheduled to play in Mexico, all the games got canceled every single time. Now, I expect the game to get canceled. But man, what for what reason? Because the stadium's well, falling apart. Whatever the reasons, the other games being canceled oh, before. Right. I'm going to go Chargers. I have a hard time making that pick, but I think I'm gonna go Chargers. So I expect to win the pool again this week. You're gonna lose. And if you wanna, badly. if you wanna, if you win make the, the same too, picks you did from this show, <clears throat> you're gonna lose. I'm making the same picks. You're gonna lose badly. It, I already made them. Same picks. If you want, Badly. if you want to win money, and me and you duel it out at the end with the tiebreaker, if you want to do so, pick my same picks. Do it, do it. All right. Yes, that's the you ain't even played anymore. Yes, that's the only way because I forget every week, and you should be able to go up until the game kicks off, not have them all in by Thursday. What if the quarterback breaks their knee in a car accident the game day before the game? Then you go lose. So, what do you mean? So, man, this ain't Vegas. Like, come on, put the, put the stuff in. You wouldn't get your money put back it in, in right Vegas now. either. Put it in, put it in right now. Nope. You just uh, made all your picks right now. Put it in. Chargers win. You just made all your picks right now. You should have put. You should have been looking at the app. Made your pick. It did it right there. Chargers win. Yeah, of course Chargers win. Look at you, Chargers fan. <laughs> yes. Raiders. Guess who watched Chargers last week? Raiders, baby. Chargers played pretty good on Raiders, though. Of course they did, because the Raiders defense is not that good. But the Raiders defense, they made. Uh, Phillip Rivers throw eight incompletions in a row to end the game. You've never seen that before in your entire life. And the uh, only reason Chargers were in that game was because of the officials. Just like every opponent the Raiders have played this season. Just like everybody who plays the officials, the worst officials of all time this year. Raiders, no, but I'm actually a complainer. 
because you hate the officials this year. Yeah, you're the right. They should, are the all, worst of all time they should all year. die. They should all be thrown in the ocean with ankle weights and no floaties. All right, thank you, mafioso. Yeah, Mafia Mike's Pizzeria. <laughs> it's a shell of itself. <laughs> Anything else? You got a top 10 to do. Let's do top 10. 350 Yeezy V2s to us. George, you want to go first? You go first. V1 Yeezy V3 V2 V4. <laughs> go first. Do your bottom five. Man, I got to pull it up. Hold on a second, you freak. That's why I write on paper, though, so I don't got to play my phone. Yeah, all right. Paper is old school. Number 10. It should be clay, but I put blue tints, but pick one. Clays or blue tints. I don't care. Have you seen clays in person? I have them. I'm sorry, what? I mean, I don't have a personal pair, but I have a pair oh, in the house. I thought I liked them, but every time I see them, like, Egh. I don't know. I think True Form is better. No. Um, and I sold, like, I had, like, five pairs of clays. I sold, like, four oh, pairs right. and uh, I have another pair still. Uh, number nine, Beluga 2.0s. I think people hate or they, they hate on Beluga 2.0s. I think they're um, underrated a little bit. They are a little underrated. I don't have my list, though. I think they're underrated. Um, number eight. Core black with the white stripe. Okay. Number seven, static black, which is the one that you were talking about that they put in the complex top 10 shoes of the year or whatever. I call them pirate blacks. You can, but the static means that it's the new version of it with the missing material or whatever. And then number six, you're, this is going to make you mad, but I don't care. Number six, zebras. Let me be mad. Let me be mad. Because you think zebras are the greatest thing since sliced bread. Not anymore. But I do. Oh, look at you. Not anymore, eh? Number 10, I got the glow. I like the glow a lot, but they're really unwearable. Anytime I see somebody wearing them, I'm like, eesh, those are rough. Number 10, I got triple whites. I think triple whites are underrated. All right. Uh, triple whites are underrated. Triple whites are triple white. <laughs> <laughs> they're underrated. Uh, that's not what I would say. Number eight, I got true forms. I like those a lot. I think those look really good on person and on feet. Uh, number seven, I got Lundmarks. Lundmarks are Really nice. I like those a lot. Number six, I got the black, red, bread, digital, whatever you want to call that. I didn't think those were as great as everybody thought they were when they came out, but I like those a lot. Uh, that's it. That's all my bottom five. <laughs> Hold on a second. Fam, what's up? Who you talk about like Yeezy V2s? This, this so, it really ain't much to talk about with these. Uh, number five, glows. Dang, that's high. Number, I, I like for glows. you. Glows are fire. I do like glows a lot. But I've been talking about glows for like on the show like multiple times. You're not a flashy person. Like, those are like, but I don't flashy. even. But I think They're I don't. Worse than volts. I don't think I mean glows for like a a male human. I think I just mean glows like to sit on the shelf or for someone with a small foot to wear. I don't know. Small foot. Number four, sesames. Mm. Number three, Beluga Whales. Number three. Beluga 1.0. Yeah. You said you better have them in the top three. So they're okay. Three. You did that. Number two, all black with the red letters. That's way too high. No, it's not. And number one, core black, which is the one with the red stripe. Nice. Red stripe. We're beer. pretty similar. All right. Number five. You're black and I got, white, but I got <laughs> number five. Number five. I got core. I'm sorry. Static pirate black. Whatever. Number four, I got sesame. Number three, I got zebra. Number two, I got red stripes. And number one, I got Beluga 1.0. Beluga 1.0 is still the best. Did you have black with the red letters at any point yeah. in your thing? Number six. Oh, all right. I had them at number six. I can respect that. I I, I, I like them a, when I see them on feet, but when they first came out, I did not understand why they were selling for so much and why people liked them so much. This this is the Bo Jackson hat. I didn't even pull it up. It was just on an email. That doesn't even look like Bo Jackson. I mean, I don't think how how, <laughs> how are you going to get a cartoon image on a hat to look like Bo Jack? Like, what do you mean? You Fam. think it was going to be like a splitting image? It should be pretty close. Fam, that don't even look like, that look like St Stefan Urkel. <laughs> like, that looks like, fam, you know what this looks like? This looks like when a white person draws a black person. This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> that may have been the case. <laughs> this does not, there is not a single person on earth. They should have put a Raiders helmet on them. They would have like, oh, that Bo Jackson? There is, there, that is, fam, that's a disgraceful right there. That better be free. That hat does not look like Bo Jackson on there. Are you saying free because he got a lot of teeth? Bro, that or? looks just like <laughs> Jaleel White. That's that like Rudo. Bro, that's Rudo. <laughs> that is the worst hat of all time. 
That hat is unreal trash. Okay, man. That looks like me now. They took the light off. It's a little darker. That's the Raider dark logo on the side, you freak. Bruh, the Raider logo looks more like Bo Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he got a helmet on. That hat is, that hat is unbelievable it's not, trash. It's not trash. That, it doesn't look like Bo Jackson. They should have put that on the front. No. It's Bruh. not trash. <laughs> if Okay. Don't be a hater. No, no, no. If you're going to put someone's face on a hat, that means it looks like them. You wouldn't have to put 34 yeah, Bo Jackson yeah, sure. Raiders on it. Sure, you man. should just be able to put the face on on the hat. If I put a picture of Jaleel White, Steve Urkel on a hat, on the back, I don't got to write Family Matters. If I put Michael Jordan's head on it, I don't got to put Chicago Bulls on it. Does Nike own Bo Nose? Why didn't they put Bo Nose on this? That would be much better. Does Nike own that? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I own two me now. <laughs> you own what? Did you did you mean to say me too? To me. Oh, now nah, you don't own that. Oh, I don't? No. Nah. Okay. That's half mine. Oh, you bought it? You bought the website? No, I didn't. Oh, I but I might tra- trademark, trademark, it. trademark it. I might. They're not going to let you do that. They didn't let LeBron do Taco Tuesday. That's different because somebody already owned it. It's a little... Nah, I don't think that's why. I thought like that trailer or taco truck or something owned it like from a long time ago. Well, yeah, it would make sense. To, they're gonna When you send it in, they're going to think you meant me too. No, I'm going to put... No. <laughs> I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. I want the ellipsis and the to me. And I want the version oh, too. Oh, in the front, you mean? And I want the version, other versions too. To us, to me, to they, to him, to there, her. Nah, those don't exist. Don't to give me, it to me. To huh? me is it, it's definitely ours. Somebody probably gonna take it down now. I said it, so. Well, you better do it tonight. Oh, nope, I can't afford it. It's a lot of money. No, it's not. Yeah, it's quite a bit for a trademark. Yeah, it's more than I thought. How much? I ain't telling the red listeners. It's I mean, more than I thought. Go turn it off. Now nah, you think like you go to those websites and be like, "Yo, <laughs> trademark this." It's, you should it's say a, it's a million, and then they think it's a million, and they don't go. I mean, it's about five hundred thousand. It's not. <laughs> anyway, let's think this. I'm going home. Bye. <laughs>